Another advanced feature of GarageBand is the live loops that you can use. Now I recommend before you play around with this one that you first experiment in a new setting. So I'm going to create a new song and then I'm going to look at a couple of different styles that I might choose. Um, obviously when they do the live loops it is all live loops. You don't have any um, you don't have any other instruments at least room for them. The idea behind this is you're going to switch between loops every measure or so or a sequence of measures and re-record it and it just dubs it back down. Let me show you an example with the R&B setting. So you can play around with it. You can get set on a specific sound. You can also record it. To save a little bit of time, I'm going to do all three at once. I'm going to start with the recording. Then I'm going to set a full family of sound. Now as you see, it's recording along the top. It's dubbing all of these different sounds. And I can go through and I can adjust different features along the way as I do this. And as I do it, it's going to start pulling from the other series. My, this is my original series here. This is adding these other different sounds to it that I selected along the way. I can even change the entire set midway through. And I can keep this going. It's not set to the specific 8 bar loop. It keeps going as long as you want it to. And then it'll re-record over into the loop at the very beginning. So you've just created an entire loop, an entire song, with just a few random hits, a few random selections. Now it doesn't have the full range of instrumentation or ability to mimic and maneuver different, completely different sounds as the original GarageBand settings, but it's a much easier, much quick, um, stylistic approach especially if you're looking for something real quick to put into with um, a video recording or as background music.